Hello and welcome to Open Solar. My name's Christian and I'm the User Experience Manager for Australia. Today, we're welcoming on board SunPower by Maxion Technologies as an exhibiting partner on Open Solar. If you didn't already know, Open Solar is an end-to-end -end solar design and sales toolkit. With Open Solar, you can generate leads, manage your CRM, design beautiful solar systems, generate proposals, close the sale online and deliver post-sale service, all in one toolkit. So today I'm starting on this My Energy page, which is the end customer facing side of the software. This is a proposal that's about to be sent out. So you can see here now with our new SunPower partnership, we have this beautiful looking content in here within the system hardware section. So when you're quoting SunPower Performance 3, Maxion 3, and Commercial 3 panels, you'll be able to access this awesome looking content. And in there, we have great videos, detailed brochures about the products, and spec sheets that can be accessed right from this online My Energy proposal. So in today's session, I'll be running you through a general demo of the entire software um, and I'll be showing you in particular how to include the SunPower content within your solar proposals. So once again, starting on this My Energy page, let's take a little run through um, from the customer's eyes here. So we've got the system image at the top and we can toggle between different views of the home with these arrows. Coming down, we have our system hardware here and a system performance chart. For the keen customers, we have this daily energy profile. Coming further down, this is some customized content that I put in my quote, so you can put in uh, you know, extra marketing materials and things to tailor towards your business and customize it how you like. That's how your system works, the environmental benefits, and finally, we have our financial uh, graphs at the bottom here with the quotation table. And once again, this is a fully online proposal, so you can toggle between these different options and all of the charts and everything will be updated as you click between those. At the bottom, you have uh, the option here to download the proposal and generate a PDF document. So if you prefer to send it off as an offline version, uh, you can do that via PDF there. The customer can accept the proposal and pay the deposit with this button here after they've selected their payment option and after they've chosen their desired system option they are offering as well. So if they go through, they can review the quote table, review the terms and conditions of your business, and then they can sign off and pay with the payment information you have provided there. Great, so let's take it from the top now. Let's go back to the control zone here. And I'm just gonna show you quickly how to add in the sun power panels for that exhibited content. So if we go to the design and hardware section and go into modules, you'll see here, this is my active list of modules. So these are the ones that I use on a regular basis. And to add in the sun power ones, I can go and click on plus create, simply type in sun power. You'll see various modules pop up with their logo. So let's take this max three panel here. If we wanna add that into our list, um, we can review the specs if we need to, and we can put in a cost that we're paying for that panel um, so we can factor it into our cost breakdown. Uh, and that's especially useful if you're gonna be using a markup pricing scheme. We've also got the product warranties in this area. And if you need to change any of uh, these warranties, you can click on this customized specification here. And this same process goes for the inverters and batteries and your other hardware as well. So once you've added in uh, that sun power, those sun power panels into your list, you can jump right back to the Prodex zone and we'll take it from the top now. This is where it all begins in Open Solar. We have our project list here. We're able to um, see our contacts. We can quick call, text and email them right from the app. Um, particularly useful on the phone or tablet app um, if you're using those devices as well. Um, and you can add in filters here to manage your CRM effectively um, by checking off specific actions and things like that. Um, so that's a good way to manage the CRM. So we'll go up to the top and click on New Project. 
let's put in a, an address here that we can work with as, as this example. We'll select residential um, and then we can just put in some very basic contact information in here. Great, and now we've done that, we can go through to click on Create and Design, which takes us into the Studio Zone, and that's where we do all of our solar designing, or we can click on Create and View, and that takes us into this Project Zone, where we can view a little bit more information about this project. So you can see here on the right-hand side, we have the workflow of actions, um, and these are particularly useful in you know, managing the project itself. Um, you have these different stages here, and you can customize all of these actions to suit your business. You can schedule planned activities um, and assign team members to those activities who will receive notifications um, and they can go and carry out those activities which will be logged within this project history tab here. We've got sales and service and site details and very importantly just beneath the electricity usage of your customer um, can be entered in this section. So if we click on this pen icon we can select um, uh, depending on what data we have, we can choose um, you know, whether it be monthly kilowatt hour figures or if it's a daily average figure or even an annual um, dollar bill amount, we can select that. So you have a few options there for putting in your customer's usage from their bill. For the moment, I'm going to take this default usage 7,300 kilowatt hours for the year. On the right hand side, this is where you can select the utility tariff that they're currently on. So you can see I've got this AGL Energex. Um, rate that has been automatically applied for me um, due to the location but we can click on this search icon go into our current rates and select from this um, massive database of tariffs and particularly useful to utilize these uh, these filters that you have here as options as well great so once we've done um, those two important things let's now hop into the studio zone where we can start designing with those sun power panels so we've jumped in now, um, if we want to we can select from different mapping options at the bottom left by clicking this icon and you might want to check out our other free map options in here. We also offer near map as well um, via an integration so if you have a near map account um, you can integrate that with Open Solar and have access to all their premium high definition imagery. Okay so first things first let's come up to this panel uh, tab and select our panel type I'll go in here and I will just scroll down till I find my sun power panels. I can also just quickly command F to search for those panels as well. So I'll take this 330 um, P3 that I was using on the previous design and that's now been loaded in. So I'm ready to go and start designing with this plus panel group button at the top here. And just simply clicking and dragging along the roof like so. And as I'm dragging, I'm also um, you know, set, setting the azimuth there as well. If I just release it there, I'll then be able to add in other panels in these surrounding boxes like this. Um, and now that you see this, uh, this move horizontal button has been switched on for me, I'm able to move this panel group around with this yellow bubble here. You can also delete panels quickly by clicking on them or clicking and dragging. Um, and so that will be nice and easy to add and remove them like that. On the left you can reset the azimuth, the slope of the roof um, and various other things in here for that specific panel group. So if we're happy with that one let's leave it there and we'll add in another group um, perhaps just on this west facing roof over here just dropping that again and then once again if you need to adjust any of the um, specifics for that panel array on the left hand tab while this is selected here. So you can see at the top now we've got 24 panels, um, group of 17 and 7, a 7.9 kilowatt system and 152% offset. Um, and that offset takes into account, of course, the customer's consumption that we would have entered in at the beginning. Great, so let's add in our inverter now. Just click on this plus button here. We can also go in and select an inverter. Um, so depending on what one we want to use, we might take this end phase one as an example. We might also um, want to offer the customer another system option in Open Solar. That's very easy to do with this plus button at the top and just duplicating that system. We might want to then just offer them a different panel type. Let's go with um, one of the other sun power panels for this example. We might use that Max 3 that we just added in, this 390 watt panel. 
So you can see the texture of the module is a little bit different for the Max 3 compared to the P3 panel here. It's more of a dark color in this one. Um, and we can retitle these at the top. Might just call this 7.9 kilowatt P3. And this one we might just title it 9.4 Max 3. Um, so adding as many system options as you like at the top here. Um, and then once you're happy with that, you can uh, scroll down, um, sort out your pricing in this tab here. So at the moment, I'm just taking a price per watt for this example. Um, but you have a um, variety of different options of how you want to price your systems in Open Solar. We have a markup scheme, um, which is handy if you're going to be entering in all of your costs, like I showed you at the beginning for how to enter the cost of the panels. Um, and you'll see that, that breakdown um, factors into here. So it marks up on all those costs. Um, the price per watt, pretty self-explanatory, just um, based on the size of the system. You can also enter the price manually um, on a job-by-job -job basis if you wanted to do that as well. But for the moment, we'll go with this price per watt scheme. We can also check out our price breakdown with all of the costs um, entered in this area. And then we got our margin at the bottom there. So we're happy with our pricing. We can then just quickly check out um, the incentives. So we can see the STC is being calculated automatically for us. Um, that's taking into account the postcode and the system size. And then we've got our payment options in here as well. So if I just want to go in and override, I can then select um, from my different payment options in here. Might just go with, in this case, a bank transfer and a 0% interest loan from Bright. And I'll just have to do that the same on this option over here as well. Okay, great, so we're ready to go now. I'll just line up this white box um, with the house so we can see the design perfectly in there. And we'll just jump through to the My Energy page to have a look at our new proposal. Great, so we're welcomed here with a, with a cover message um, for our customer. You can see um, this welcoming message along with a bit of information about your business and any images that you want to add in there. They then can continue to the proposal and then view their, um, their quote in full here, just like we did at the beginning. So you can see how quickly and easily it is to generate nice looking proposals using the Open Solar tool. You can do it really in a matter of minutes once you get up to speed with everything. Great, um, so that's a brief run through of the, the designing aspects of it. Let's just jump into the control zone now and I'll show you a few key things to get set up um, on Open Solar at the beginning. So this control zone is only accessible to the admins of the account and we can go in here firstly and just jump into the business info tab where we put in key business information, we put in um, about this business and then we put in our logo at the bottom here. Always remember to click save once you've made any progress in this area as well. You can add in team members quickly in this team section by clicking on create and then putting in their email address um, and specifying if you want them an admin and giving them access to this control zone. Um, you can then adjust your pricing and payment options in this area. So this is where you're setting up all of those pricing schemes that will then be applied to the projects in the studio zone when you're doing those designs. So like I said before, if you're using a markup scheme here, it's going to take into account all of the costs within this cost information tab and all of the costs that we've entered in for these components in here. So you can create these pricing schemes by clicking plus create at the top right um, and then just entering a few easy details in there. Same goes for the payment options. Um, you can enter in your payment options in here and then apply those in the studio zone. All of your costs can be entered in this section so you can create various different cost lists. You might have one for commercial, one for residential and so on. Um, and then you can apply them um, if you want to auto apply it to every project or you can specifically select it for a project in the studio zone. I think we went through the design and hardware enough already, it's pretty straightforward. Just clicking create at the top right and adding in any of the um, sun power panels first of all and the cost associated with them. Don't take these costs seriously at the moment, they're just some uh, example numbers I put in there. But in here it's the same for inverters and batteries and, and any other components that might be necessary as well. Within the purchase experience tab, this is everything that relates to the end customer. So creating your proposal template here, you can see I've got one for resi and for commercial. Um, so you can create as many as you like there and, and really tailor them to all your, to your business and your customers. 
You have your contract template for your terms and conditions and you can create multiple of these as well. So best um, copy and pasting from a Word document into this template area um, and then that will be displayed nicely on the proposal for you. You then have this checkout experience area um, and here you can enable the customer to accept and pay a deposit online. Um, you can see I provided my bank details at the bottom here as an offline payment option but you can also select Stripe um, for credit card payments as well and we have a help center article in the support button at the bottom right there. Great, so that pretty much wraps us up for this um, this session on SunPower. Thank you very much for joining us on board as a partner on Open Solar. Um, if you require any further assistance along your Open Solar journey, just hop into this support button at the bottom right, click on this visit help center button, and in there we have a lot of great resources for getting yourself up and running on the system. Um, we have these webinar series as well that run three times per week, um, and you can always just submit a ticket to us at support at opensolar.com if you have any specific issues. Great, thanks for uh, tuning into this video and hoping you have a great day.